Chapter 22. How did you celebrate your 30th birthday? I will try to answer this question. It has been over 40 years since I had my 30th birthday. There are no clear memories of that celebration. I do know that it would have been in 1976. I can put myself into that year and go from there. That was a pretty big year. A couple of big things had happened by the time my birthday came around in November. I got married to Pat that summer, and we moved into the new house that I had built on Poland Road. This is the same house I am in now, and Michelle was eight years old. That year was also the year of the Summer Olympics that were held in Montreal. I had been traveling quite a bit with my job at Bone that year and spent a lot of time at our plant in Montreal. I actually was flying out of Montreal the day that the event started. Queen Elizabeth was in town for the opening and I was shocked to see armed guards on the streets and metal detectors in the entrances to hotels. This was all prompted by the events that happened at the previous Olympics in Munich. That's when eight Israeli athletes and coaches were massacred by Palestinian terrorists. Well, back to the birthday. I'm sure that my mom and dad played a big role in making my birthday a special day. The 17th was on a Wednesday, but we probably had a birthday dinner and cake on the weekend. My mom was able to get around pretty well back at this time, so we could have gone to one of their favorite restaurants. One that we went to often was George's Buffet on Voorhees Street. Another favorite was Baker's Italian Restaurant, just off East Main, behind the old KFC building. This is the same place I celebrated my 21st birthday. Both of these places are no longer in business. I do not have any memory of any particular gifts, but I can tell you about my cars. These were very important items in my life, and they helped me put things into chronological order. I know it sounds crazy, but it really does. In the 70s, we had several new cars. There was a series of Chevy Monte Carlos. The first was 1974, then 1976, 1978, 1980, and 1982. All were purchased brand new, and some were the very first ones sold in Danville for those new model years. I had a particular salesman that would call me as soon as the dealership received their first new models of the year. At that time, new models were released ahead of the year, like in August 1975 for the model year 1976. He would call me at work and tell me he had one, and if I liked the color, I would say I will take it and go down and make the deal. In those days, we had new cars every two years. That way, we always had factory warranty, never had to buy tires or maintenance items, and had a reliable means of transportation. That's what my mom always wanted. In 1976, I was playing bass in a band called Spice. It was with Punky Ice, Herb Weiss, plus a drummer and guitar player. It was a very popular band, and we played almost every weekend. Herb was famous for throwing parties in his garage, and I wouldn't be surprised if he had a party for me that year. On the subject of birthdays, we can't leave out the Big O party. That happened in July 2016. A big family celebration came about because there were several family members that turned a year old with a zero on the end. I turned 70 years old, Joni 60, Dave 50, Jeremy 40, and the twins Ben and Marilyn turned 20 sometime during the year 2016. That was cause for one big party, and Dave hosted it at Chula Vista Resort for everyone one weekend in the Wisconsin Dells. One more thing needs to be mentioned about my 70th birthday. Michelle created a wonderful album for me, and I got it on my birthday in November that year. She had worked very hard on it for several months, collecting pictures and letters and notes from many of my lifelong friends and co-workers. I will always keep it close to my heart. So wonderful.